When I first signed up for YouTube uh, a few years back, I wasn't sure what I could put on YouTube uh, for videos. Then uh, I guess uh, I am pretty sure I know what I can do now because it's what's happening uh, is your life or a part of it anyway, maybe a small part of it. I woke up this morning and tried to use my uh, desktop and uh, Actually, my son's is pretty old one. It's a Dell Dimension E5521. Anyway, try to uh, press a button, boot it up, nothing happens. Complete black screen. And all I can see was a number 2 here. And the uh, hard drive light was not lit just the number two and I tried to uh, look that up in the internet I found nothing I found one website that says uh, subscribe and uh, will give you the answer well I'm not gonna subscribe I don't wanna you know maybe get a virus or maybe they try to sell you something well anyway uh, to make a long story short I found another website that gave some troubleshooting tips and um, so I open up my computer. Actually, I ha I had that open before, and uh, I was trying to check the cables and all, and to see uh, what could be the problem. There was no beep, nothing, just a black screen on my uh, monitor. And uh, the first thing I looked was, uh, well, the cable was kind of short because I had. Uh, change or install a second hard drive here and I was using this cable and was barely reaching from here to this uh, socket here uh, so I changed it I used a longer cable this cable was actually for the CD-ROM drive but the CD-ROM drive uh, was not working uh, and I thought you know I could do away with the CD-ROM drive uh, I had some old IDE drive or AT, uh, ATA drive which wouldn't fit this computer so I never installed another one uh, because it wouldn't boot up so I was gonna try using the setup disk which came with it but without a CD-ROM drive I wouldn't be able to do that so I try pressing the uh, computer on and off for a few times which is not really good because it it ruins the uh, the files if the computer can actually uh, access your hard drive it will damage the boot up files but uh, I had no choice uh, because it was booting up once or twice before and they would hang in the middle uh, so I was kinda stumped and I found this website describing different things that can go wrong uh, actually uh, I was afraid you know I would have to maybe get an external CD-ROM drive and try to insert the uh, setup disk and try to boot up that way anyway so one thing they did mention was your uh, your RAMs uh, I added RAMs to it, extra RAM, I think now it's 2 megabytes, uh, I'm, so, I'm sorry, 2 gigabytes. This is a very old system, so uh, it's Vista. So I checked this one, press it, it's good. Uh, I took this one out, press it back in, good. And then the third one, I noticed, you know, this side is good. And actually, at the end here on this side, you can barely see it because of all the cables. That is also the reason why it was uh, installed incorrectly in the first place. The connector at the end here was loose, and this, is, this piece of RAM is not seated uh, correctly. So what I did is uh, I push it all the way back in, 
make sure that you know everything is correct and try to reboot and then it rebooted and I thought okay I solved the problem but then it says uh, I have to go into the setup screen because uh, there was a booting error of some kind then I go back to check over here where I had installed it the uh, the cable before uh, what actually happened was uh, when I installed this thing uh, I accidentally uh, pulled out the uh, power cable so the bootable drive wasn't booting press it back in reset everything turn on the computer again it booted this time I got it working so this is what I call your life on YouTube you wake up one day and you can make a video I think when I my son bought this it was like uh, well over six hundred dollars maybe close to a thousand dollars with a monitor and every, everything I said it I uh, added a second hard drive uh, this is working fine there are two hard drives because one one hard drive belongs to my son he has all kinds of viruses in it and um, I didn't want to deal with that I added a second hard drive install uh, a second uh, boot drive uh, completely separate from this so I wouldn't have this problem but I didn't want to delete all his work uh, all his uh, research papers I didn't want to touch it so I added another hard drive it's now good now it's working it's fine and a thousand dollar computer I tell you these things are, are so expensive and um, they can have problems that uh, really uh, really uh, make you uh, frustrated uh, this power supply I had replaced already because my son likes to leave his compu computer on uh, 24 hours a day and this is this computer is at least three years old so this went and what I did was uh, I ordered another hard drive using the exact model number type it in got it from eBay for $37 and uh, and I have a computer good as new my neighbor had called me several months ago with another boot up problem he has a he has a green light at the front and it would change color or something I immediately know it was a uh, power supply problem the fan was uh, turning very slowly or not on it was very hot Usually these things go wrong when your temperature changes when you go from winter to summer and these things are working hard already they overheat and then she was looking at uh, her computer was uh, another $1,500 computer and I told her you know try to get some help from Dell before you replace the, uh, the power supply and she never got back to me so I assumed it was fixed and she never told me that what the real problem was but I am pretty sure it was again the power supply problem and uh, $1,500 computer and all you have to do is replace a $40, $50 part uh, no mystery to it and uh, these are not as dangerous as uh, fixing your television uh, just make sure you dis disconnect it and screw everything plug everything back in plug the cable back in and you'll be okay so that's the video for today I'm glad it's working again I can get to my YouTube page so uh, I guess the, the, the 
big tip is just to Google whatever problem you have first uh, experience and try to go through whatever the suggestion is and lucky for me today it works. Thank you. Have a good day.